Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Holy hell. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm currently recording this on Thursday at about 3 in the afternoon, around that time. Um, I have spent, literally, from Monday to now, with Final Fantasy IX just running in the background while I was doing other things. That's pretty much all I've been doing all weekend, or all week. Uh, the reason why is so I could get my cl my intro clock up to this point. Now, I'm going to talk while I run so you guys can see what's going on with that. Now, I mentioned um, probably in the previous set or so that there is a hidden weapon for Steiner called the Excalibur II. It is his ultimate, ultimate weapon in the game. Unfortunately, the only way to get it is to get to a certain point in the final dungeon with 12 hours on the clock at the very max. Once that hits 12, and once that ticks over, you lost it. Now, there are two ways to getting the sword. One is to speed run the game, which sucks. So you miss out on a lot of things. However, comma, if you let the clock tick over from 99, 59 to 59, all the way over, as you're about to see in a few seconds, it will actually do that. Which it means the internal clock has reset, and we have another 12 hours to get to the get to the sword. Now, unless you royally screw up, you won't have to worry about that, because it's not going to take 12 hours to get to the get to the sword. So we can let out a sigh of relief, because now we can get the sword. Um, there's also a trophy or achievement associated to it, so be sure to get it. Um, off screen, I also spent a lot of time level grinding. In case you can't tell, everyone's in level 99. And not just these four, everyone. Ecos, um, Amarant, Queena, everyone's all level 99. Um, they all also have all their abilities, all learned, all maxed. And that took forever as well. Um, it took me. Let me think here. From 8 this morning to literally 5 minutes ago. Well, yeah, 5 minutes ago to get everyone up to level 99. So, let's see here. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Mm -hmm. So, about 7 hours to get everyone there. I did this on Vile Island, just fighting the Yans. I used the speed up HP thing just so I can get that done quicker. Um, so, yeah. Everyone's level 99. We're all ready to go. Which also means we can do the um, optional bosses. Which is great, because I was debating on if I should do them or not. So, huzzah! We can do them. I'm going to die horribly multiple times. That will be uh, part of the next set. Next set is pretty much going to be a boss run of the two hidden um, ultimate bosses and then the final boss. So we'll have the penultimate boss, which we'll meet in a little bit. The ultimate boss, which we'll see next time. And the final boss. That's what all next set's going to be. So fun stuff. Um, I currently have everyone set up in my own personal manner, um, HP buffs, Zan has a lot of stealing abilities, add stats, great, especially with ultimate weapon because it adds sleep, but pretty much everyone has immunity to all stats ailments, and, uh, body temp, as well as high tide, and then some specialized abilities. For Zidane, he has high counter rate, um... Dagger has magic uh, base stuff as well as her boost and Odin's sword. Um, Steiner is designed to where he can use any of the killer abilities if I need to. Um, as well as the counter and whatnot. Um, and alert so we don't have to worry about being back attacked. And Vivi is just set up to um, basically do magic. So we're all pretty much set to go. That being said, let's do our obligatory save. And get into the final dungeon. I can't tell you how tired I am. <laughs> I was seriously worried if I if I was gonna be able to record um, in time. I thought I would have to be able to record. I would have to record um, tomorrow, on Friday, to get everything set. Fortunately, I didn't have to. Didn't have to worry too much. So we're over here at the infantry. Let's go do this. No! No, what are you doing? I... No! 
You can't fly the uh, golden chocobo into it, by the way. You have to have the, in the invincible. In we go! Oh, nice music! Sorry, I had the mic muted that. They're coming! <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, that's right, Limblum's helping us out. Jeez. I wonder why the dragons are exploding. It's kind of weird. All ships clear a path for the Invincible. Why don't you guys steal the show by yourselves? Not quite, Baku. Uncle Sid? Why? How did he know to show up here? Well, it was a giant ball of death. Baku's a Baku. He loves big showdowns. Now, let's lose those dragons. Man, this thing looks so cool. Oh. Just headbutt right into it. Beatrix! Gerald Beatrix, our ship is going to burst. Without a fret, your captain is about to enter Valhalla. You are a Pluto Knight. Now act like one. We all know you came along because you were worried sick about Captain Steiner. Did you say something? No. Red Rose, could it be? Beatrix? Quite a woman you fell in love with. You're one to talk. Wait, wait a minute, Steiner. What, the, what did you mean by that? Run away. Alright, let's bust through. So she knows Zidane's in love with her. Aww. In we go. I'd like to say once more into the breach. And of course, we have a fight. Okay, so this is a Nova Dragon, an upgraded Silver Dragon. It looks so cool. Alright, let me get a good view of it. Jeez, look how big it is. Okay, so. 54,941 HP. Max MP gives a 13 AP. It's level 67, so we outclass it. Uh, you can commonly steal a remedy, uncommonly steal a dragon wrist, and rare a grand armor. It will always drop a wing edge with a chance of dropping ethers and elixirs. Uncommon, uncommon elixir. Um, it is a dragon and aerial type, so bird killer or dragon killer are great to have. It is vulnerable to ice and wind, nullifies earth, and its only stats of uh, vulnerabilities are darkness, silence, sleep, and slow. Having a ribbon, just in general, would be great now. Because it uh, protects against all stats, uh, not all stats elements, but all elemental um, effects. Oh crap, have the all turned on. Right. Focus. I didn't realize that, but uh, oh, it's still turned on. I did nothing. Alright, so it was Ice and Wind, so Shiva. Counterattack, nice. Jeez, uh, Steiner. Alright, Sword Mac. Oh, let's see here. What do I have? A target, attack power, defense. It's all near death part of members attack. Interesting. Shock him. Uh, my girl, D Shiva. Oh, 
Where's the sock? There it is. Oh, look at her. It's been so long since I've seen her. You think, girl? Ooh, 6,000. Nice. There you go, Slash. That shouldn't do much. Barely anything. Again. <laughs> yes! Steiner! Alright, counter. Sword art. Let's keep just keep doing shock. I don't need any abilities, so it doesn't really matter. Jeez, Vivi. I killed it! Awesome! I remember him being difficult, but then I also don't remember ever being here at level 99. So... Jeez. Alright. No XP, which sucks. Oh, I got an elixir, awesome. The uncommon drop. I should also work, Queena. It's no problem. I've worked from in I've worked from outside before. I guess it's the only exit anyway. We find same magic field outside when we come back. I warp in when I step into magic field outside. Alright. I guess it's no use worrying. Oh, Queena. Trippy. What is this place? What's wrong, Zidane? Did someone just call my name? No. That's weird. Maybe you're just hearing things. I don't think so. You hear that? I hear nothing. Zidane, can you hear me? Garland? I'm speaking only to you. Garland, what is this place? Memoria, a place of memories. Memor memories? Yes, your memories brought forth this place. Here, you shall witness the entire truth. You have no choice, now go. What are you talking about? Dang. Zidane, what's going on? Y'all heard me talking, right? Looks like I was the only one who heard him. I was, talking, I was just talking to Garland. He told me that our memories created this place. I don't know what the hell he was talking about. I guess we'll just uh, have to move forward. Alright, keep my party because I like this party. There should be a way out of here. I think I have to go back, up, up and back. But first, this is for those who are playing along. Let's see here. If we're doing the Nero Bros quest, uh, we need to leave Memoria and go to Talist, hide out in Lindblom to register checkpoints. For which any scene or boss will create a new checkpoint. Uh, missing too many makes the quest impossible to finish. Give me a second while I'll stop, make call. Yeah, there it was. Alright, so. This quest runs parallel to the uh, final dungeon. It consists of a number of checkpoints during which you can return to the town list, hide out in Limbloom for a scene. And more importantly, get credit for viewing a checkpoint. The quest can be started anytime before defeating Death Geist. But starting too late will prevent you from obtaining the necessary number of checkpoints to complete it. Once the next checkpoint is available, the previous ones can no longer be taken advantage of. Okay. Uh, see here. You need to. You need 
nine checkpoints to complete the quest successfully. After completing the n uh, required number of checkpoints, you receive a protect ring, which, while not unique, is a very difficult to get in large numbers. So a relatively easy one is always welcome. Interestingly, you can complete the quest twice if you see every checkpoint, causing you to see uh, each see each of the scenes again, but there's no additional reward for doing so. Okay, so this will give you a... Um, I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, a friend of mine had decided to send me an early Christmas present. Um, basically, the three books of Looking Glass Wars, the complete works of HP Lovecraft, and two anime figurines. So, hey, cheers. I'm about to thank her when I get done with this. Alright, so, as I was saying earlier, the Neo Brothers quest is available right now. And I will be telling you when those checkpoints are to go back if you really want to. I really don't need to get it, so it doesn't really matter to me. So, let's see here. Alright, let's go. There are hidden items throughout this entire area as well that we need to grab. Um, they are the penultimate weapons of the character. This right here, by the way, is how we get back to... The Invincible and how we change our characters. Uh, but we don't really need to do that. So. Sorry about that little glitch right there. Uh, let's do. This incidentally is the second checkpoint for the Nero Brothers. So, fun. The first one was before we travel to Memoria. Upstairs is the save point. Okay. Which is this, I'm assuming. Yep. As well as a tent and change party members. I believe as we access the other ones, we gain a bit the ability to um, fast travel between them, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, use it, then follow the right wall in an off screen nook. Should be. Kane's Lance! Which is a unique weapon for Freya. Oh. Check it out. It should be her ultimate weapon. Auto. Might as well. Alright. Looking for lances. There they are. Kane's Lance. It also causes Confuse. Nice. Uh, this is in reference to um, Kane, who is a character from Final Fantasy... Three, I want to say. Can't remember exactly. Uh, it's Freya's second best weapon. Um, he was a dragoon who used spears as well. Alright then. Hello! Who are you? You are Chimera, if I remember correctly. Yep. Don't need to worry about you, because you're nothing. Cure everyone, just to be safe. But I highly doubt it's going to survive this little onslaught. Venom Breath. Okay, we're protected against that, so... And even if we weren't, um... If it gave me the virus, I'd, it wouldn't matter because I don't need EXP anymore. So... Doesn't matter. This should kill him, if I remember correctly. Nope, not enough. Getting there, though. Flare sword. Not enough? That was enough. Ah, uh, just pure raw death. It's awesome. Good amount of EXP, though. Hmm. Onwards and upwards. Okay, in here... There is a character called the Tetra Master. Which is right here. Um, the Tetra Masters are hidden, invisible characters that you can find. If you challenge them to a Tetra game, they'll have very rare and very powerful cards. It's a good way to build up your deck. 
as well as get that um, trophy. Is it here? Alright, we need to keep following the path until we find a small little outcrop. Which is up here. It's that little thing right there. Oh, it's up farther. Okay. There should be another Tetra Master around here somewhere too, I believe. If I remember correctly. Apparently I'm not. Oh, an Iron Giant! Alright, so, Iron Giants are susceptible specifically to elemental damage. They're more protective to um, physical. Although apparently I am just so be so beast it doesn't really matter. Alright, heal me up. Counter attack? Oh, you poor piece of, piece of crap. Yeah, you shouldn't counter attack these two. Or attack these two. They'll heal. They'll, they'll just take it back at you. All right, back to Max. Win the bar. Iron Giants kind of give me a little PTSD, <laughs> um, thanks to Final Fantasy 15. Holy hell! The first time I fought one of those. Bye bye. All right, so that was fun. All right, let's get that tower. Right there. This is Zidane's second best weapon. Close but no cigar. Let's take a look at it. The tower. Cast mini. Awesome. Um, we really don't need to equip it, so it doesn't really matter. All right, onwards and upwards. And a uh, missile item alert, according to this guide. Be sure Zidane is in the party before continuing to the next screen. The boss you're about to face off with carries the Genji armor, which is only one of two copies in the entire game. Thankfully, it's in the common slot to steal, meaning it shouldn't take too long to get it. In addition, if you're short on a Zolan shaped daggers, you can get a Masamuna here, which is one less Zolan shape instead of uh, needed for synth synthesizing. Um, as a side note, equip fire protection abilities and body temp. Everyone already has those equipped. This is a mandatory fight. Always pops up right here. This is... Malarious. Um, if you remember from the temple, uh, the fire temple, this was the creature that appeared there that we didn't get to fight. We meet again. I'm one of the Chaos Guardians. Knew before my power. I told you back all the way back then that we'd, we'd have to fight this thing. Eventually. Okay, so. Um, you can st you get, or it has uh, 15, uh, uh, 56,497 HP. Uh, 3,381 MP, so not a lot. Uncommon steals Genji armor. Uncommon, or common steals Genji. Uncommon is the ultimate sword, which is for Steiner. Uh, Semi-rare is Masamune. It will drop a Phoenix Pinion, you, but you can also get either Phoenix Down, Ether, or Elixir with increasing difficulty. Its type is Demon, is weak to ice, absorbs fire, and is vulnerable to sleep and slow. Alright. So since it's weak to ice... Let's go! Sorry, I'm protecting against that. That would have put me in the heat status, which I believe is a um, constant attack. Uh, but you have a chance of dying at the end of it, I believe. If I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. Could be wrong, probably am. This will probably kill him. Or her. Sorry. <sighs> so pretty. Next to Bahamut, Shiva has to be one of my favorite summons in the game. She is so pretty every time. Although I think my favorite Shiva that I'm, uh, that I can remember off the top of my head has to be 
uh, Final Fantasy X Shiva. Ah! Counterattack. Don't cough. Got the ultimate sword! Which I believe actually is the weapon that Zidane has equipped. Or is that ultimate weapon? It's ultimate weapon, okay. Sword is the weapon for, uh, dagger. Not dagger, uh, Zidane, uh Steiner. Sorry, we had a bit. All right. Oh, you're doing that now. Okay. Doesn't matter. You should die from diamond dust this time. Oh, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? <laughs> Although, what kind of suck at reflect actually did bounce back summon magic as well, which theoretically should happen. But oh well. I'm not going to complain about, not, about a game not making my life harder. And there we go. We're done. Level 99, God, make sure you know. Boss. It's over. Take this. Raining sword. Swords. Okay. Aww. You thought that would work. Sorry. I don't know the, if they all have uh, deaths, death abilities like that. Ability. Oop. There we are. Onwards and upwards. Uh, we now have checkpoint three, so we turn back to Lin Boom. We can do that. Uh, back in the Memora. Uh, do. We have trigger cutscene here. Isn't this Alexandria? What's Alexandria Castle doing here? Huh? Hey, Bahamut. Oh. The gasp. The <laughs> quidge like, wow. What are you talking about? I've not seen anything. Of course you can't see anything. You weren't with us this time, so it's not your memory. In his bid to defy me, Kuja tried to acquire Alexander. An incident ten years ago started everything. Alright. Alright, once that go uh, once that triggers, um checkpoint four is available, so you go back and do that. But there should be oop, hidden save point and a tent. Get back our MP. Save here. It's an Invisi Moogle. All right, and over here. Is the angel flute, which is Eco's best flute in the game. Can't change party members here. I can't. I just want to equip them. As I get them. Equip Eco with the flute. Let's do this. Angel flute was the one I got, right? Yeah. A giant flute that is said to enchant any who hears its tune. Obviously, the uh, the racket's better, but this does better. This is better for magic. All right, and just because I like the lance. It's like party members. There we are. Onwards. Come on, go a little bit. A storm. 
Okay, um, there should be a scene here. That, uh, is checkpoint.